Hello everyone, welcome to my new Let's Play for the new year, 2022. It's 102 Dalmatians, Puppies to the Rescue. So, yep, I'm Sparrow Jonathan, and yeah, we're starting up this game today with this first part. So, uh, yeah, can't wait to do it. This is going to be a really fun one, so I hope you enjoy it too. So, yeah, let's start a new game right now. So, yep, here we go. We will return to the adventures of Thunderbolt in, in space. space! After these words from our sponsor. Not another commercial. Hey, Oddball, let's go dig for pirate treasure in the yard. You bet! But Domino, do you think it will be okay with Mom? Yeah, no sweat. Mom and Dad will be back from their walk soon. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, Domino, what's this? That's just one of those crummy robot toys Corella de Ville is making. Who would want such an ugly hunk of junk? I'm ruined. Ruined, I say. My toys, my marvelous, splendid toys. They're selling worse than Brussels sprouts. Don't worry, Miss de Ville. I'm sure this new one will be a big hit. No fool. Can't you see? The spoiled brats of England must be spending their pocket money on something else. And we must eliminate that competition. Yes, there's no other choice. Professor Farsboom, get your head out of your toy programming and answer the phone. Uh, yes, Cruella, my sweet. Farsboom, my high-tech hireling, initiate plan B. Hey, everybody, we're back! Mom? Dad? Hey, where is everybody? Oh, look, Dipstick. There are Oddball and Domino. At least they're still here. Listen, it's coming on the TV right now. And all over England, pets of every kind are vanishing without a trace. Scotland Yard is now on the case, and... <gasps> I just can't believe it! Our puppies! Gone! It's that horrid Cruella de Vil up to her old tricks. I just know it. But what can we do, darling? I'll tell you what we can do. We'll go over to that evil woman's toy factory, get our pups back, and have it out with her once and for all. You're right, Dipstick. Oh, I could just bite that woman. Now, Oddball and Domino, you puppies stay right here. Take care of our humans while we're gone, and don't worry. We'll be back with all your brothers and sisters as soon as we can. Goodbye, my darlings. And be good. So, do you want to stay here and be good? Or do you want to go help rescue our family? My thoughts exactly, sis. Let's go! Oh, well, there we go then. We're gonna have to rescue them all. So, yeah, that's what this, all, this game's all about. And... So yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, rescue all the police, but yeah, this is the main menu here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna start off with the very first little Regent's Park. So yeah, let's start off with that. And yeah, you've got some cool artwork for the loading screens here of the game, but yeah, I really love this game. Um, so can't wait to get into it right now. Hello there, puppy. Name's Waddlesworth. Welcome to Regent's Park. Hi, Waddlesworth. I'm looking for my brothers and sisters. I think they may be in trouble. Yes, Cruella de Vil has sent out an army of robotic toys to capture all the pets in England. But why? What is she going to do with them? The robots are locking the pets into crates like this one and taking them to Cruella's toy factory outside of London. Can we stop them? Of course! The toys are dangerous if you're not careful, but they are very poorly made. A loud bark at close range will destroy their cheap electronics. What about my brothers and sisters trapped in the crates? Try tumbling into the crates. You should be able to smash them open and rescue the puppies inside. Thanks, Waddlesworth. I'll see you soon. Alright, so, yeah, we're starting off, but actually in this first part, I think I'll switch to Oddball. And you can switch uh, puppies by pressing select, so and does that, or you can also 
uh, do it from here as well. But it's cool, you can just switch on the fly, like whenever you want. So, but yeah, here we are, we're starting off with the game. So, yeah, it's Regent's Park. So, yeah, real places in the UK. Um, but yeah, you can get the toy enemies here by backing or rolling into them with triangle. You have to use triangle, it's like charging in Sparrow. We get the figures so like you can jump all over the place here and um, yeah, it feels very fluid controls and oh yeah, got one. Yeah, they'll, they'll say stuff like they do in Sparrow, so it's another kind of Sparrow game, but it's sort of different. And oh yeah, the developer is um, Crystal Dynamics, so it's the same developers as Gex. Um, but this is sort of different, it's not like. I'd say like Muppet Mom's Adventure, the game I just finished, is more of a Sparrow game than this. Um, Sparrow inspired game, because uh, we're just collecting bones. But yeah, but I think we actually have to go back to um, get a power and um, he'll actually tell us more. So I'm going to try and uh, hear all the dialogue here. Oh, I'm recording this in 60 FPS, but I can hear my system goes is going fast, um, trying to record it. So. Uh, yeah, but let's talk to him here. Bottlesworth, I've got a question. Certainly. There's stuff lying on the ground, like bones and food. Should I pick it up? Absolutely. There are 100 bones in each level, and if you get them all, you will reveal a cool secret. Food, on the other hand, will heal injuries you may get fighting Cruella's robot toys. From time to time, you can pick up an item which will appear on your screen. You use these items to solve puzzles in the level. Anything else? Cruella's toys are easy to destroy, but you will have to find a different way to deal with her human henchmen, Horace, Jasper, and Lapelt. Cool. One last thing. I'll fly ahead and scout things out. I may have some helpful hints for you from time to time. You can also come up to me at any time when you want to take a break and save your game. Okay, see you later. Oh, well thank you for explaining all that to us then. So, yeah, that's how uh, you do it and you, you can get used to it um, pretty easily. So, but there's a lot of tutorials, tutorial stuff in this first level here. So, yeah, let's talk to uh, this girl here. So, oh, hi there. My name's Fidget. <laughs> My mom calls me that because, well, I never stop moving. <laughs> nice to meet you, Fidget. There's a lot of fun stuff to do around here, but, but look out for those evil toys. If you have any questions, you just come find me, and I'll tell you what I know. Bye now! Alright then. So, um, but, do you think? Try and get them again? Yep. Wait, are they just gonna run over here? Oh, okay. Talk to them here now. Hi again! Oh, just listen to those busy bees up there. Hey, I don't know if you found Cruella's henchman Jasper yet. When you do, Bring him back to my tree. I bet we could play a funny trick on him. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> All right, and now I'll just move over here and oh yeah, wait, you can't talk to him again. Okay, that's all I'll say for now. But um, you got benches to jump on here and um, guess you can get health back by eating the meat. Have we got monkey here and um, yeah, then the bones are left. Uh, in random places, so we don't actually always come out with the enemies. Uh, Alright then. Yeah, so um, it's kind of like uh, Sparrow inspired by, by that. Again, when you rescue them, um, we can spare one. Right, we've got flowers here, and um, yeah, with how all this looks. Um, and yeah, you can tell like kind of the music and the items you can let you collect. It's kind of the same like Gex, um, so um, yeah, but this is such a pleasant game, like I loved it when I played it the first time, like same as Muppet Monster Adventure, I played this in 2014 on my PSP the first time and um, yeah, it felt like a really um, fun time and oh yeah, I can get through the fence here. Um, I felt like I was going through it there, but oh yeah, but you don't have a camera um, in this game. You can't change the camera. Um, but yeah, so we got to come back here to do that. Um, but 
Okay, cool. Found one here. Even these holes are really fun in this game. Um, so what? Uh, yeah, it's just a really fun time. Um, yeah, there's six in each travel to rescue. So, um, yeah, sometimes I'll just say simple stuff. Whoa, he threw off right there and bounced off the wall, I think. Yeah, but the, the thing about um, this game is that, um, okay, I keep getting, I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted here because um, I wasn't expecting this to happen, but it feels like I'm jumping up higher every time I try and jump back up there. Um, but yeah, because I'm recording a 60 FPS, um, I think that might be a thing, but the reason I'm doing that is because apparently this game plays in 60 FPS. Um, yeah, we've got to we actually got to take this bird. This is like kind of a secret thing. I know like most of the secrets in the game. Um, so yeah, oh, he's getting stuck in the wall here, but but gotta take him down here. No, don't go back up. Just keep backing him, and you can just keep holding down the square to keep backing it. And, and oh yeah, now the birds do that. Just to run them, but it, it does that and it reveals all these bones as well. To get, uh oh, we can hear uh, him. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be recording this game in 60 FPS actually. Oh, no, they're going to get me, but yeah, if they try to attack you, then actually I'll show you what happens. Because uh, we've got two lives, but I think that's going to be enough. But I'll let, I'll let him get me, but he can. Oh, I think he just said that because he lost us. Um, I keep hurting him, but. He doesn't say anything. Um, yeah, get me now. Yeah, so that's that's our health, and that's what happens when you get a uh, lose a life. So it's kind of sad, but um, hopefully it's not going to be as hard as uh, my Pokemon Mom's adventure. You know, getting um, uh, keeping your wives in the game because <laughs> I kept always dying in that, and it felt like yeah, with that game there wasn't ever enough wives around. They were very um, strict about that, I guess. But yeah, we've got to take this guy to the the beehive and like fidget cell. So, yeah, at first I forgot the name of the squirrel, but we need to weed them up here. So I don't think he's too fast, so... But I mean, when, when you're playing this for the first time, I guess, like, you can be scared of him, but... Yeah. Go, got him with the bees done <laughs> just away. So, it will fidget say something now for doing that. So, <laughs> wow, that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I hope he's not allergic. Hey, now that Jasper's taken care of, do you suppose you could do me a favor? Huh? Well, sure, what is it? Oh, I, I lost my favorite nut. I go searching for it, but my mom doesn't let me go very far from our tree. <laughs> if you find it, would you please bring it back to me? You bet, Fidget. Okay, well, so let's find that now. So, but nope, they don't say anything else. But yeah, I've forgotten. It's been a while since I've actually played this game properly, so <laughs> I'm gonna um, check if to do the same thing more. And oh yeah, the way I'm gonna do it is um, I'm gonna do this. Let's play is I'm going to um, yeah, I will um, alternate each part. I'll play as uh, I'll play it as Oddball in this first part, and then Dom D Domino. I was calling Dominic in the next part. But oh, you can get back up. Yes, you can. You can jump and do that. And I got back up. Yeah, from there. But I think the next waterfall you can't. It can be kind of tricky. 
but you've got really cool like environments so it feels very pleasant uh, going through this game. The music is awesome, uh, really love that. There's some really catchy songs in the game. Um, so yeah, hopefully this is all going to be fun. Oh, yeah, I think they usually say that a lot throughout the game, but yeah, so we got Wallsworth here, I think that's his name, so, um, oh yeah, just save or continue, so you just use him to save, which, um, I think, I, I think I checked, but yeah, America had, oh, it does that weird sound if you press X for some reason there, um, okay, well, I've, I'm kind of learning a few things here, um, as we're doing the first part, Whoa. I can go a bit crazy if you do stuff like that, but if you jump around too much. But yeah, I think maybe this, it might be too much. I don't think I need to be recording in 60 FPS for this game, even though it's like, from my counter is saying that it is 60. Um, but I think 30 would be fine. It doesn't, you can't really tell that it is 60 though, I don't think, but yeah. So, and oh yes, I'm recording this, you might notice. I'm doing this so it's playing 4x3 now for PS1 games um, starting this year and uh, for the future because this is the correct resolution and I, I should have been doing that for a while so I'm glad I'm finally doing it now um, and I hope uh, yeah you're all okay with that as well and oh well yeah that's what she says if you follow them I think I'm gonna have to go the long way right back oh wait maybe, maybe I can get it no I think it's going a bit too weird it feels a bit, um, oh no, it can be sometimes, um, be a bit too much if the camera's going everywhere and <laughs> we've got an acorn here, I think, yeah, that's the thing we need, yeah. Oh, Gotta give it back to the jet, oh, that bone just reappeared there for a second and if that, that opened the gate, destroying those cars then, it yeah, shows the picture here <laughs> and that takes you all the way back. So. I uh, yeah. Nice job. Yeah, we'll just say simple stuff like that, but yeah, this is the end part also. It's like I think part of it says one hundred and two on it, so with that, but we won't go in there yet because it'll just drag you in and force you to go into the next level, um I believe. So um we actually did play this game um in twenty twenty actually, so not not too long ago, but at the end of twenty twenty for a Disney tournament. So, uh, yeah. Is this the nut you were looking for, Fidget? Yeah, that's it! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Here's a little reward! Cool! Oh, there we go, get bones as a reward. So, yeah, you really need to, if you're gonna get all 100 bones in a level, then you really need to do everything, I think. And, um, yeah, so I, I believe that getting 100 bones means that you have done everything in the level. <laughs> I'm just taking them there. I feel kind of bad. But yeah, so this is the really uh, unique thing about this game, I guess. And you have to sniff the ground and it leads you. You have to keep holding it. Sometimes it goes a bit wrong and you lose track. But yeah, when you dig up bones and then other stuff as well. Um, like you can dig up food and sometimes lives. But the bones are what you're really looking for because then you need a hundred of them. So, yeah, this is this is kind of fun, but well, it can kind of get a bit weird sometimes. I'm thinking like sometimes you might be walking. I don't know. It might be <laughs> it's you might be walking for a long, long while for these bones because you can walk out searching for these arrows and following them. It's you know it gets um, easy to lose track of it sometimes. Um, Right, so we, we just need four more, so we've actually done very well in this first level so far. Um, doesn't feel like it's gone too long. Um, I don't know if, like, uh, Domino's dialogue and Oddball's dialogue is different um, for like, the cutscenes, but I, I want to switch uh, so that we're, we're doing them um, equally. And um, so it's funny, right, for the odd numbered parts, I guess, of a sort of play, it's going to be Oddball we're using, so I thought that would be funny thing as well and then yeah, the even parts will be domino I guess so oh wait can we take the bird back to that thing again let's, let's see what happens I'm curious um 
So no, he's going into this ball again. Um, all the bricks. Um, yeah, he's getting a bit stuck here, and um, so oh, no, I don't think I think backing is the better thing to do at them. I think he can roll him as well, but oh, no, he's going all the way over here. What? Um, yeah, go back over there, and um, oh, oh, it happens again. Okay, but. Okay, nothing happened. Okay, so you can do that again. Okay, wasn't where if you could. So finding out <laughs> new things about this game. That, that's that's gonna be the cool thing I think for me is like playing game to play for this game again for my channel. This time recording it and um, you know it's always cool when you learn new things about a game that you've played for so long and uh, well I, I haven't really played this game for so long. I played it just a couple of years ago, but. Uh, well, actually, 2014 is like will be eight years ago now because yeah, this is the, my new let's play for the new year 2022. So I hope this is going to be so fun for you to all to watch as well. And uh, if you have any memories of this game as well, oh, I'm still going here. I thought she stopped sniffing. Uh, oh no, it's this one. Ah, here we have 98. So we just need that one. And then, um, oh, is it taking me back? Oh, it's here. Okay. It's good you can just keep holding circle when you um, find them, but yeah, so I think we just need that because we have all six puppies. The six puppies in every level. Um, so I believe, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to, anything else to do and give us a cool red flag on top of that. Um, but yeah, I don't think, is this guy back here? No. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't feel too open. I guess uh, the game. Um, but it's not exactly linear either. But um, this first level isn't that big. But I think the levels do get bigger. Yeah, for the first level, it's just um, this um, small area place. And yeah, I guess don't know if uh, Regent's Park looks like this. Oh yes, in real life. But there we go. Got a sticker and. Yeah, so I, f I believe, I think that's everything for the first level. Like, get yeah, a cool start. Uh, very uh, welcoming you into the game. Um, so, uh, yeah. Oh, no, if that's well, it says paused. Uh, P A W S E D. So, I thought that was a funny old thing. And so, yeah, I think that's it for the first level. So, and you get a sticker for reaching the end as well. So, yeah, we got everything. And what's going on? Yeah, it takes you away to the next level. So, amazing how that happens but yeah so that's it for this part so thank you so much for watching this first part of 102 dalmatians puppies to rescue i really hope this is gonna be a fun let's play so yeah here we go what are you doing here ahem i am sergeant tibbs and i've been sent to help you save your brothers and sisters and track down cruella de vil what do you know about cruella well let's just say that i've done battle with that harrod and Deville before I'll take any help you can give me, Mr. Tibbs. See you soon. Oh, there we go. So we start off here, and yeah, we'll start off here in the next level, next part, the toy, the toy store. So, yes, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're really all gonna enjoy this. Um, thanks so much. I'm Spurge on once again, and yep, I'll see you in the next part to the second level. So, yep, see you all next time. Goodbye for now.